I'm going to talk to you about the seven universal emotions. So first I'll explain what universal means in this context. There are seven universal emotions. So wherever you are born, that could be in Birmingham in the UK, Birmingham in Alabama, or even born in Beirut or born blind. We all have the seven same facial expressions for fear, anger, disgust, surprise, contempt, happiness, and sadness. And that means wherever we are in the world, however we've been brought up, whether we've never seen another face, we all show those seven emotions exactly the same. Now the triggers will be completely different wherever you are in the world. You know, the example I use when I talk to different people is, if I go into a house in Japan and I've got my shoes on, you'll see high levels of disgust because that's just culturally well, not what you do. So that trigger for disgust in a Japanese person would be really quite intense. In the UK or in the Western world, as long as you wipe your feet and come into the house with your shoes on, it's not that bad for most people and probably wouldn't raise an awful lot of disgust and probably in some people nothing at all. So the triggers can be very different, but the emotions that we display for those seven, anger, fear, disgust, sadness, happiness, surprise and contempt are exactly the same. So that leads me on to micro expressions or macro expressions. A micro expression can last one twenty fifth of a second. That is tiny and really hard to pick up in real life. And, you know, as I'm talking to people, but a macro expression can last on the face approximately about two seconds. And that's the ones that we capture in our day to day life. And it's something that, as I'm going to talk about in these videos, helping you to become more aware of the seven different emotions. And as I've said in other videos, actually, this information can really help you get ahead and it will enhance all of your relationships, whether that's career or personal. So remember those seven universal emotions and keep an eye out for them. Try and start to spot them. And in the next videos, I'm actually going to explain each emotion individually so that you can look for the key muscle movements to help you understand which emotion is being displayed. Thanks for watching this video today. I hope you found it interesting and of some education. I'll be sharing more information as the weeks go by. So tune back in. And if you haven't already done so, like, share and subscribe.